Toronto's Mayor Rob Ford was back in court today fighting for his political life over an alleged breach of the city's conflict of interest rules. Ford is appealing a judicial order to vacate his seat. Today, his lawyers said the proceedings should be declared null and void. As Christina Stevens reports, Ford could be out of a job if he loses. How's it going in there? Toronto Mayor Rob Ford says he's feeling good about his appeal. Uh, you know, I believe in the judicial system and hope everything works out. Inside, he sat at the front of an overflowing courtroom. His lawyer arguing there were several legal errors in the court ruling ordering Ford out of office, claiming city council didn't have the authority to find Ford in conflict in the first place. But one legal expert says it'll likely be a tough sell. He's got arguments, but quite honestly, I don't think that they're going to be validly upheld arguments. An appellate court in general gives deference to the trial judge who's heard the evidence, who's seen the full record. I'm just hoping that they can see enough reason to, uh, to uh, let him keep his job. I think everyone recognizes that, that the penalty for what has gone on here is far too severe. In November, Ford was found to be in conflict of interest for taking part in a vote on whether he should repay just over $3,100 in improper donations made to his football foundation. A lot is riding on his appeal. If Ford wins, it will be back to work as usual for him at City Hall. If Ford loses his appeal, City Council has a choice, either hold a costly by-election or appoint a mayor to serve until the next election in October 2014. And there's nothing to preclude them from appointing Ford to the very job he'd be forced to vacate. But Ford's brother says if it comes down to it, a by-election would be more democratic. If the people want Rob to be mayor, they'll re-elect him. If they don't want Rob to be mayor, they won't re-elect him. And I think that's fair to the people of Toronto. All of the uncertainty will go on for some time yet. It's expected to be weeks before the judges release their ruling. Christina Stevens, Global News, Toronto.